This is the last uh, video of my archive. I don't have anything else. But I am going out tomorrow night to play, and they have not moved to a new location yet. They're supposed to move now. They've got delayed to October 2nd, so don't expect a new background. It's the same old place for a couple more videos. Now I want to get as much recording as I can get in uh, from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. My action starts coming in at 6, so I usually don't record after 6 p.m. unless nobody wants to play. Um, this one gets really, really, really detailed and really analytical, and I use a lot of graphs. And there's a lot of yakking, and we really, really dissect every single shot, um, which is a good thing. There's an ultimate conclusion to this video, and uh, you should hang with it. I think you'll learn a little bit, or you might know all this. I don't know. I see that's that's the thing, and there might be, you know, I don't know what level you guys play. You see me play all the time. This ain't fair. I want to see you play. Yeah, I want to see you play. That's right. Um, we're just gonna get on with it, man. There's a there's a lot there's a lot going on here. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I worked hard on it. Let's roll. All right, here's a good look at the table, and we're just gonna take it four balls at a time. Keep from overwhelming anyone. All right, the problem here is pretty obvious. We need to get up by the side pocket for a shot on the two so we can roll down on the three. Uh, so we can't put top on this ball. We're just going to go up table, and we just don't want to play with going two or three rails on this shot. All right, here again, what we don't want to do is draw this ball because you're going to draw it down table. It's going to widen the angle off the one ball and just send it in a really, really horrible position. When we Again, we need to get up on the other side of the table. So the correct way to shoot it is, it's a stun shot, but you're just going to put it just a hair atop and just a hair of right-hand English on it. And don't put too much right. You don't want to be spinning down table. You just want to come back in the right direction on this two ball. So it's a stun shot on an angle. It's a little bit unclear exactly where I need to be on this three ball to get good position on the four in order to get around this five ball. So the best way to do this is just to take a little bit of a walk around the table and look at the line straight through the three ball. We want to be a little bit lower than that line in order to get right on the four ball. So the solution is pretty simple. Just put a little bit of straight top on it and roll down right below the three ball. Yeah, this table has me a little bit gun shy, so I didn't roll down far enough, but it's really not that big of a deal. Players tend to complicate this when it's really a, it's a really simple fix, and every time they try to complicate it, they wind up getting in more trouble than they had to get into. This was straight top going down to the bottom rail, and it will come off at the same, at the exact opposite angle that it went from the three to the rail on. And as long as you don't over hit it or under hit it, you should be good on the four ball. To draw back and around the five ball 
in order to get from the 5 to the 6. Alright, there doesn't seem to be a clean way around this uh, 5 ball to get back on the 5 ball, but there is. And you, you have the 6 to contend with too, but don't sweat it, you're just going to have to juice it. Alright, this is a finesse shot, and it's going to call for, your, for you to bring out your A-game stroke. So, um, don't worry about hitting the 6, and, and just make sure your tip is chalked and shaped, and here we go. The draw will force the cue ball a little further up table than you might expect. And the spin is going clockwise from the left hand English. And that should spin it up table. Now even though you, you might hit the top of the six as long as you don't slam this ball. And this is why they call it finesse shot. You're stroking this ball. Just relax, take a deep breath and stroke it lightly. Do you roll up on the five ball and shoot the six up table in the corner pocket? Or do you draw back on the five ball and shoot the six ball down table in the bottom pocket? If you decide to draw back on the five and shoot the six in the closest pocket, um, you're, you're risking hitting the six ball and you're also risking scratching. So you're going to have to have a little bit of faith in your draw stroke if you choose that option. And this is an option because different players have more confidence in shooting shots different ways. I have more confidence in my draw shot than, than my follow shot. So I'm choosing the draw shot, but if you choose the follow shot, everything from here on in is, is still the same. We're still going to need that angle on the 7 to get to the 8. So before you decide, just know that if you choose the draw to get back on the 6, you're also going to have to draw to get back on the 7. If you choose the follow to get on the 6, you're also going to have to follow to get on the 7. I do have a slight angle here, so if I draw back hard, I'm not going to go ahead and scratch in that, in that corner pocket. So the question now is, where do you need to be on this 8 ball? And how can I get there from the 7 to the 8? Where do I need to be on the 7? Whether you decided to get in front of it or get in back of it, it's really easy to misjudge it and end up really bad on the 7 and an impossible situation to get easily on the 8 ball to get to the 9 ball. So I know where I want to be on the 7 to get to the 8 um, and it's easier for me to get to that pinpoint position if I draw, if I just let my stroke out and draw all the way down to the top rail and bounce off the top rail. Well, I didn't quite get back down off that rail far enough, and now I'm really not quite sure I have the angle to get back on this 8 where I wanted to get. And I know you, some of you guys well enough to know that you're thinking about finessing this and putting a whole lot of right bottom on it and coming back off that side rail and spinning it down for a shot in the side for this eight ball and just roll up on the nine and I don't think it's a good plan because you're just you're just kinda it's gonna take a ton of draw number one and it's liable to really hook up uh, depending on the table you're playing and just send it way down table and you really don't want to take that chance 
going forward in trying to get around the nine is is even a worse idea it's you're not going to make it around the nine and even if you do you're going to still be bad on the eight instead of doing all that i i would just take the long shot now this is a judgment call but um nine times out of ten because i'm in line and it's really not that hard of a shot you just have to have a straight stroke to make it consistently I'll ease up on it and I won't I won't do anything fancy and and I'll just take the long shot and just bounce off that rail and this might be the distraction here but instead of just putting center I I I put a little bit of bottom on that ball and I came up way too close to this side rail and now I have an even more awkward shot on the eight ball. So the question of course is how do I make this eight ball and get on the nine ball? We have some problems here. Whether you stun this ball or draw this ball you're going to scratch. So both of those options are out. If those are your marquee shots you're going to have to do away with them. The solution here is just straight top, no left, no right. Just push through the eight ball to that rail and it should bounce up for a perfect shot on the nine ball. Somebody somewhere on youtube asked me why they're always choking and the reason you're always choking is because you haven't made the basics of pull an, a subconscious habit you have to make these things a habit there's a million reasons why you're choking but the, the bottom line is you haven't made the basics a habit and you need to make them a habit and once they are a habit and you're not thinking about them you can just do it caution, caution. caution. get down on the line of vein breathe stay balanced still and solid don't twist your wrist focus on the object don't drop ball. your elbow don't close your eyes so now we're going to run the whole wreck from the one through the nine, start to finish, uncut. Uh, as it is, no edits, no, no, no yakking, no nothing.